What are they hiding? What are they hiding, Scorpio? Mm -hmm. We can be a little bit suspicious, can't we? And uh, in our defense, we have all the rights to be. However, we too have been in the past Seven of Swords at one point, haven't we? We'd be awkward to deny anything else. Uh, so what are they hiding? Do we need to fear someone or hiding something from us? I haven't picked anyone out yet. It's, it's, it, is it someone on your mind? Could be someone on your mind. Uh, let's see if the if the stars can pick them up for you. And uh, I want to do a karmic check if they're hiding something from you. What do they owe you, or is it you that owe them something? Let's check it out. So if you haven't checked out my video yet on the Super Scorpio I just did a read for, I'll, uh, check it out. That Scorpio is very fascinating. I haven't made a title yet as we speak, but they will be uploaded. Yep, um, mm -mm, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. I think she's beside my cousin. Oh my god, my cousin. Sun, Moon, Mercury, Mars, Venus in Scorpio. I wouldn't be surprised if he has his ascendant there also. Now you would think, wow, that sounds so cool. You don't. I'm so happy for my Mercury in Libra when I'm looking at his life today. Mm -mm. It ain't a good life he's living. He ain't handle it, handle it very well. Uh, it's uh, destructive. And uh, yeah, he's a bum. So, being, I used to be like, oh, I want to be Super Scorpio, Scorpio, on, you know, only Scorpio. Oh, that's so dangerous. That's so badass. Trust me. I wouldn't want that on my worst enemy. So bless the soul I previously read. However, when you do go through that pits of hell which we come from, and, and you manage to crawl up that ladder, you do become very powerful. So when someone are hiding something to you, there's a Libra popping up here out of the blue. <laughs> there is a Taurus also here. We have another Scorpio. Now this could be one person, uh, could be several people plotting against you to take you down, Scorpio. Leo in reverse. Right. Pretty, I'm, I'm starting to have a pretty good idea. What about you? Anyone this resonates with? You'll make a few. Okay, so Neptune in reverse. This is not someone who... They want facts. 
this 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 one you know this could be separated from those others i don't know that some of you are dealing with i want the facts uh, they're also exceptionally arrogant uh, some of them mm, either very arrogant but what i'm sure of is more insecure that they could give the impression of uh, so arrogant possible yeah this is something which is a result direct result of being insecure so but but this is someone you know with the taurus energy here on libra energy i want facts i don't want any fairy tale stories about what's going on in scorpio's head this is not necessarily but i would guess you know from this uh, kind of vibe they tend to lack imagination this is not someone who can sit down and, and draw a beautiful landscape from the other galaxy that but they could surely calculate it virgo in reversed i'm not sure you know if they have a feminine sign they don't do a lot from it so i wouldn't be too surprised if they you know on one side they're very sophisticated and diplomatic and generous and kind uh, they're also very possessive uh, well it they, they could also be a tad filthy <laughs> with, with the virgo in reverse today it's not necessarily someone are checking if their fingernails are clean all the time so hopefully there is something in between that uh, but this is not someone who are walking around checking if everything is clean absolutely everywhere at all times um, they seem to be down to earth though maybe a little bit too much square you could be dealing with square I'm not saying that they're necessarily square to the degree that they are mainstream, but you know, I want the facts. Might as well be hippies as well. Mars. Okay, so they could come out as a little bit, you know. This is, you know, this is the boss. He, she is a boss. Uh, you could be dealing with someone with Aries placement, or of course Scorpio placement also, uh, but uh, they do have a spine. Don't you dare tell them what to do. And they, you know, when they do take action, this is someone who could work, work, work for, for a very long time. Um, they are not protected. They need to protect themselves. I'm not talking about condoms. Uh, there is something about them that, you know, they might have some, I don't know, attracted some quite shitty energies from toxic people, toxic beings, entities, for what I hear. And uh, it's not doing them any good. Shit done herself. Could be dealing with a plutonium if they have pluto on top of their ascendant um, oh that was empty what is in the bottom here venus in reversed okay what you do not see coming is venus in reversed okay so if this is a love thing going on between you and them i don't know yeah but what i do know are the cards we are using um let's check the energies between you and them what what happened between you and them and let's check their hidden house yeah let's see if there's something they are hiding let's see 
Maybe there's nothing at all. Maybe just hiding that they, you know, their socks are really filthy and I don't, they, they are embarrassed. No, no, it's not that. It's not. This is someone who could burp loud in the open. They wouldn't mind, you know. Um, it's, it's a combination of something very sophisticated. But Plutonian energy? Plutonian energy. We talked about that. They could have a strong Scorpio placement. Uh, this could be someone who, you know, you wouldn't maybe, because they come out as very generous, with that Libra energy, uh, what you do not see is that they have a very lust for power. They want to control you. If you see someone around you, they want to control you. Okay, we have a couple of jumpers here. King of Wands. Okay. Let's remove these ones. Okay, so a couple of Scorpio energy sayers and fire. So they could also have some Leo placement and uh, Aquarius energy. Oh, this is strange. This is someone I think people look up to. They look up to this person. Um, they could have some kind of a status or, you know, they could have, they could be loaded, have a lot of money. From the cards, Taurus here, they have, they, they are very possessive, they might have property, they are jealous as air, although they don't come out as jealous with the Libra card there. And yes, again, they want facts. Let's see what's 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 in their fence, okay? Something's fencing their energy. The sun. It could be depressed, basically. It could be depressed. They want more freedom, they want more happiness, but they can't seem to stretch it, okay? There is something karmic about this uh, individual and you. Karmatic grip. Some of you lost the strength in this connection. Leo energy. Some of you back down basically or just yeah. Passion was lost. I don't know if it was from your side or their side, but the passion was lost at some point. You know, at some point, whatever, if it friendship, whatever, whatever you had together, at some point, it just... But clearly, this is someone still, they are still part of your life somehow, or in your energy field or whatever. Someone was stuck. Someone, you no, know, actually, this is betrayal. Someone betrayed one another. However, maybe the forgiving Libra part of them or the forgiving part of you 
what what is in the past is is in the past. It's like you both acknowledge that whatever was in the past is is in the past. Okay, so there could be some expectation here about you know now everything is going to be good in the near possible future futuristic outcome here, but there if this is someone you're hanging out with a lot, if you have plans together, I would be careful signing any contracts right now. There are certain things regarding money or, or uh, property here which is not in your favour. Ten of coins in reverse. Uh, this seems to be someone who are in need of a lot of privacy. They have something they want to talk about. There is this energy of, you know, maybe they travel a lot. Eight of Wands there, travel a lot, and I have this feeling it, it exhausts them. It's exhausting them. This is night nice sun cards They're dragging out what is. Um, okay. Okay. Um, And their obstacles, uh, they can be a little bit insensitive. Maybe they are, they carry some kind of grudge. Uh, this king, you know, is the same one as you see in Game of Thrones, the young king, who you just want to, you, you see the, the, this kiddo, you want to smack his face, you know. They could be someone who are very loud when they they have strong opinions yet they sleep and so despite being the diplomat when they when they have an opinion regarding something can come out as quite loud this could be someone you know you hear them talk <clears throat> you hear them walk <clears throat> A possible situation for them. <clears throat> That's an outcome. Something that they try to resurrect it won't be too easy. They will leave a burden behind. They're also working on bad habits that they have with the devil card here. They're working on leaving them behind too. They come out as very strong. And they have also been the victim of having a lot of nightmares. So despite a couple of bad news to this individual, Oh, but do they do they keep something from Scorpio? Let's find out. Let's find out. Oh no, I can't shuffle them like that. That's that's just awkward. That's that that doesn't work. Okay. First of all, what are their intentions with Scorpio? What are their secret wish? What are what do they want with Scorpio? What does this individual? Oh, a slider. Thank you. Empress in reverse. It 
slide it out and correct as soon as it landed on the couch. It's just they do want a new beginning, but what is this Empress in reverse? What is Empress in reverse? Do they see you as some e easy prey, Scorpio? Are you the easy prey? Okay. They're a little bit smug about themselves. They see themselves in a position now that, you know, they also, they are the one who, who have the strength right now. They have something, Scorpio don't. You are in a position now where you, <laughs> whatever they offer you, you can't afford to say no. It's some kind of a help maybe, an offering. Okay, what are they hiding? What are they hiding for Scorpio? They're hiding something. Okay, I rest my case. Ace of Swords in reverse. Something here regarding a truth. Yeah, we like we like to hide things. I've got Cancerian energy too, so so I hide hide. Uh, my mother, she asked me just a few years back when she came. I automatically, out of old habit, hid behind something. Hmm, I'm gone. <laughs> and one other Cancerian asked me. All the time when you put something, you always have to put it below something so nobody can see it. What's, what's up with that thing? I said, I don't know. I didn't know I did. <laughs> it's just, you know. So, so, yeah. Many of us, we hide things without being aware of it. It's just, no, no, no. So, put it behind there and... Uh, and when you become really good at it, we hide things in plain sight. Clarify the sword. <clears throat> they had a heartbreak. They had a heartbreak. They're over it. Over the heartbreak, but why hide it? Clarify the heartbreak. Justice. I have a feeling that they feel maybe justice have not yet been served. They might come out as warrior-like, but they, they have this strong Libra energy again popping up here. They are non-confrontational, but when they do, they bark like a dog. Show me what hurt them. Strength in reversed. Whatever hurt them, they lost their strength for sure. They lost their self-identity. They lost their confidence confidence <clears throat> so what are they 
my wishes and hopes for you before I even asked. Popping up wishes and hopes for you, for you, with you. Okay, so in the bottom here, what you do not see coming is an actual resurrection. As a surprise, whatever friendship, lover, whatever this is, uh, you might have a resurrection here. Um, <laughs> there is some part of them who have managed, you know, they they have this desire for you. They have this uh, this this for some of you. They have a physical desire, a very strong physical desire. But some part of them have also, they, they can come out a little bit ambivalent regarding you, but there is some part of them who have managed to let you go somehow. They let you go. I don't know what happened between you two, but it doesn't necessarily mean they have let you go emotionally. They want a new beginning with you and they actually do have very strong feelings for you. Very fertile strong feelings for you. So honestly, this is someone, something, you know, uh, tragic clearly happened between the two of you there was a heartbreak involved um, i haven't forgotten it i haven't forgotten it and i'm not sure which one of you to you know uh, I could dig deeper into this, but uh, <laughs> enough thumbs ups and say, yeah, dig deeper. Okay, I could dig deeper. We like to dig. But yeah, um, whatever they are hiding is that they want to, you know, one part of them have kind of you know that they, they are prepared whatever has been up and back and forward with you they are again prepared to you know to let you go but, but the, uh, the other part of them they do desire you somehow they're a little bit smug about the situation right now because you are some of your scorpios are in a situation where you need maybe an extra hand um, But they are very loving and caring and it seems like they want to take care of you Scorpio and uh, I can't see any third party involved not for neither of you it could be in the past but whatever is they have managed to somehow let it go now I only did for a 30 minutes 30 minute read here but uh, it seemed like you know Whatever is going on between you two, uh, I'd say so far so good. See you on the flip flight. <laughs> flip flight, flip flight. I'm not in Norway now. Maybe next week. See you later.